Okay, this is actually a pretty confusing question for many of my students. Many of them got it wrong. Let me explain this for you guys. We have two functions. The first one is log base 2 of x squared minus 3x minus 4. And the other one is log base 2 of x plus 1 plus log base 2 of x minus 4. Well, many of us will look at the inside because we have done factoring so often, right? We'll just factor it. And then we get log base 2 of factor this we get x plus 1 times x minus 4 so so far i agree then we have the log property right we have a multiplication inside that means we can just break it apart as log base 2 of the first plus log base 2 of the second so this is just that so they are the same function right well actually no, because we always have to go with how the function is written originally. They do not have the same domain. Let me explain. So for the first one, to find the domain for log functions, you always just look at the inside of the log and then you have to make sure it's greater than zero. So for the domain, we will have to have x squared minus 3x minus 4. This whole thing is greater than zero. Here we have a quadratic inequality. We still have to factor it. We get x plus 1 times x minus 4 is greater than zero. Now, let's go ahead and find out the numbers that we care. From here, you put it equal to zero, subtract 1 to both sides, x is equal to negative 1. From here, you care about when x is equal to 4. Now, let's go ahead and draw a number line. Make a mark at negative 1 and also 4, but do not include negative 1, do not include 4. Then we are going to pick a number less than negative 1, such as negative 2. Plug into here, negative 1 right here, right, all together, and then plug in negative 2 in here, that will be negative 6. Negative times negative, we will end up with positive result. And then pick a number in between of negative 1 and 4, let's say 0. Put it here, we get 1. Put it here, we get negative 4. Multiply, we get negative. Then, pick a number bigger than 4, let's say 5. Put it here, it's positive, and put it here, the result is positive. So altogether, it's positive. So as you can see, in order to satisfy this inequality, we have to have x is less than negative 1, or x is greater than 4. So the domain, I'll just write down d for the domain, is I will go from negative infinity to negative 1. Do not include the negative 1 though. And then union 4 to infinity. That's the domain. Now, let's take a look right here. For its domain, because g of x is written to separate log function like this. So I will have to look at this first one and set up x plus 1 is greater than 0 and we have another inside here right so we have to write x minus 4 is greater than 0 we must satisfy these two inequalities at the same time now for the first one we can just subtract 1 to both sides so we get x has to be greater than negative 1 for the other one add 4 to both sides x has to be greater than 4 we have to satisfy these two inequalities at the same time. To do so, here's how we can do it. x is greater than negative 1. You can look at the number line. Let's say here is negative 1 with an open circle. x is greater than, that means we go all the way to the right. For this, it's x is greater than positive 4. Draw the same number line. Here is negative 1 already. So 4 is somewhere right here. Open circle. And again, we have to go to the right because it's the greater than. Now, in order to satisfy these two inequalities at the same time, we will have to look for the part that's overlap, which is anything bigger than 4, right? And that will be the domain for this function. 4 to infinity do not include the 4 though because there's an open circle. So you cannot have 4. As you can see, these two functions, they do not have the same domain. For this one, for example, 
you could plug in negative 2 into the inside. If you work that out, that would be a positive number, so it still work. But if you plug in negative 2 into here, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. That will ruin this part, so that's no good. Well, these two functions, they are equal on their common domain, which is from 4 to infinity. But in terms of the whole functions, they are not the same, because for this function, we do not have this portion of the graph. Alright?